And our vision with Evolve is to bring all the key stakeholders on a common platform to address the challenges and explore opportunities that are in front of us. By 2030, India aims to have a manufacturing capacity for cells alone of 100 to 120 gigawatt hours. Our strategic technology collaboration with Goshen Innobat Batteries is an important step in our journey for energy storage and mobility sector. The Evolve Conclave is not just an event, but a call to action. It is a platform for us to unite, exchange insights, and collaborate toward a shared vision of positioning India as a global leader in the energy transition. 14-15 trillion dollars of investment is required to achieve India's energy transition by uh, 2070. On transport transition and the investments is largely going to be in battery. What it suggests is we already have somewhere around 700 kilowatt hour of demand by 2022. This is going to be a somewhere around 1700 uh, gigawatt hour and uh, by 2030 it will be 4700 gigawatt hour. But, but corresponding to the demand, what's estimated, what we have uh, announcements itself uh, globally, we have almost like more than double, uh, but LFP is quickly catching up and that's going to be probably the future. I said value addition, 70% of the overall value chain, I think still we are reliant relying on a import we become the first country in the world to urbanize and industrialize through a process of decarbonization and uh, this is important because uh, without taking action if we do not take action then because of climate change as much as 35 percent of india's gdp uh, is at huge risk of our losing 35% of our GDP by 2050. And inaction will come at a very, very high price. The number of buses in India, we have about uh, 23 lakh buses, out of which only 1.5 lakhs buses are of the STUs. And the other 21.5 lakh buses are of the private sector power and the energy which they would require, about 8% of the load would be of EVs by 2030. The demand of the, elect of the uh, advanced chemistry cells, and it is going to be a very aggressive demand. And unless the government and the research institutions and the industry come together, that challenge cannot be met. And therefore, I feel that the significance of these kind of conferences lies. On the energy storage side, um, a lot of the EVs we are selling um, depends on one critical um, thing that society has to provide, which is the charging infrastructure. And then uh, with the uh, stability of the grid, this charging infrastructure could make or break your whole EV initiative. So the auto industry serves as a growth engine of our nation. The Indian auto industry along with the auto components contribute 7% of our overall GDP. And India's total auto industry sales in 2023, I'm talking about the total including two, three, commercial and passengers went up to 22.8 million and exports to 4.3 million. And especially, you can see India, before COVID, we were close to 2.3 million cars, passenger cars. The intent was to call all of you in this room the most critical minds to solve this issue of Indian energy transition, to create alliances, to build an ecosystem, and to have collaboration. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up.